Hey, everyone. Welcome to Plants and Politics. I have an update to share about two of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Matthew Bledsoe was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. So 23-year-old Gabrielle Burris and his 20-year-old girlfriend, Madison Petit, I think is how you pronounce it. They're from Ohio. They were both seen on surveillance video entering and inside the Capitol. But before they did, they were part of a large group, the FBI said, that overran the police. They they personally weren't physically assaulting police, but they said that they were seen on video accepting a police barrier from other members of the of the mob who were passing it back and that they took it and they continued to pass it along so that the police couldn't get at it. They couldn't retrieve it. And um, as with so many other January 6th defendants, in interviews with the FBI, Burris and Petit admitted to entering the Capitol, but Burris alleged that the crowd pushed them into the building. I mean, so many weak patriots. How are they ever going to push back against the evil left and Antifa in this civil war that they keep calling for. I just don't get it if they're so weak. Anyway, Burris may not be the most credible. According to the FBI, um, in the affidavit about him, quote, had previously been encountered on several occasions by the Swanton, Ohio Police Department. That's a nice way of saying he has a history of doing shady shit. So I should note, though, there's no record of Burris ever being arrested or charged with a crime until the Capitol attack. So whatever he's done, however they've encountered him, it hasn't led to actual charges. So Burris and and Petit were arrested on August 19th. They were charged with the typical January 6th misdemeanors, the entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and one count of parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. In January of this year, they pleaded guilty, of course, to the parading charge. As you guys likely know by now, that meant they were each facing up to six months in prison, up to five years of probation, and up to $5,000 in fines. But prosecutors were only seeking a sentence of 14 days in jail for each of them, three years of probation, and then 60 hours of community service. And attorneys for Burris and Petit asked the judge for only 12 months of probation and then community service hours in the amount to be determined by the court. So they didn't ask for a specific amount of time. In a sentencing memo to the court, Petit's attorney tried to place the blame on Trump and his allies. Petit was described as a, quote, right-wing faithful. And they said that she believed the election fraud propaganda Her attorney wrote, quote, Trump constantly stoked the fires, claiming there was an organized effort from his adversaries to steal the election. This was nuclearized with the message that the conservative vote as a whole was being neutralized. But Petit's attorney claims that when she entered the Capitol, she began having second thoughts and, quote, upon encountering police officers in the building, she made the decision that she wanted no part of this and made her way against the force of the crowd coming in to leave the scene. So she could fight against the crowd to leave, but she couldn't fight against the crowd not to go in in the first place. Mm -hmm. So Burris, on the other hand, didn't seem very contrite. He doesn't seem to be remorseful at all. His sentencing memo to the judge essentially just said like, yeah, others were violent with officers, but, you know, Burris wasn't. So he doesn't think he did anything wrong. I'm not kidding. His attorney wrote, quote, though many others were violent, pushing officers, et cetera, Mr. Burris was not violent, carefully observed the situation around him and acted with decency. And the attorney said that Burris, quote, felt like he was on a tour of the U.S. Capitol. Okay, yeah. I mean, as long as he doesn't think he did anything wrong, it's all good. I mean, you know, as long as he just stood there and watched as officers were being beaten and shoved, 
you know, but as long as he didn't take part in it, I guess he's a great guy. Anyway, Burris and Petit got lucky. The judge presiding over their case was Timothy Kelly. He's another Trump appointee. He's been handing out primarily pathetic, weak sentences in these cases, um, which is just astounding. You know, when I could have sworn that the Republicans and Trump were the party of law and order. Isn't that what they always say? Maybe I misunderstood. So Judge Kelly sentenced Petit and Burris to no jail time. Instead, he gave them only 45 days of home detention, 18 months of probation, and 60 hours of community service. In addition, he ordered each of them to pay a $500 restitution fee. So completely inadequate, especially considering that these two witnessed violence. They witnessed it being perpetrated against the police, and yet they chose to forge ahead and enter the Capitol anyway. And, you know, the fact that they assisted in passing the police barriers back so that the officers would, were left with zero protection whatsoever, these judges are absolutely going to regret not taking this seriously. Absolutely, because this is going to happen again. They, they did take part by taking those gates and removing them from officers, making it harder for officers to retrieve those barriers, those gates. They directly were responsible for this siege and for everything that happened after that. This is pathetic. So anyway, guys, as always, I will let you know if I hear any more. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.